evening and well, no, sorry, good afternoon and welcome to another episode of How Do I Get There? We're on another ferry this time. The Gosport Ferry, although you can barely see it because of the low lighting. In fact, the Victoria White is passing us. Uh, that's it. Uh, as we leave, this is the 4.30 over to Portsmouth, going to visit my sister with the rest of my family. Um, this is a journey I don't go on very often, to be fair. Uh, it's a shame, really, because it's actually a pretty cheap ferry. It's the, honestly the easiest way of getting between Portsmouth and Gosport if you don't drive or you just prefer something quick and easy and you don't need your car. It's absolutely amazing. I'm outside at the moment, although I will head inside shortly. It's very cold. The, the rain is chucking it down, so this will be a very lovely Christmas Eve walk. Uh, hence, the, hence the hat, hence the lovely red scarf. So, uh, the Gosport Ferry is a pretty, yeah, pretty cheap, pretty decent. You can't get single tickets unless, and this is something I didn't know about, they run, well they don't run, but there's a company that run a late night service between Thursday to Saturday, uh, sort of like 11 o'clock till half past two in the morning. So ideally when you're on a night, a night out, Friday night, Saturday night or Thursday night, you will have the opportunity to get a ferry. I don't know what size it is, I'll do a bit more research, uh, put some links in the uh, comment section. Um, between the Gosport Terminal and the Portsmouth Terminal. So that's just worth knowing. You There's a number to ring up. Again, I'll link the whole thing so you'll be able to find it, find it out for yourself. Um, yeah, this is honestly one of the quickest ferry journeys uh, you can go on. In fact, there are three uh, ferries. I don't know which one this is actually. Again, I'll say which one it is in the comments. Um, oh, there's St Faith after her refurbishment. I say refurbishment, they just put a new logo on it. Um, which looks very good too, if you ever want to check that out. Uh, there are plans to uh, update slash renovate um, Portsmouth Harbour Station slash um, terminal. Let me just take you inside for a second as we're quickly about to end our, end our little trip. Honestly, take a look at these seats. They're absolutely, they just scream. 2000s. I'm assuming then this must be either Spirit of Portsmouth or the other one. But look at them, they're absolutely amazing. Like, I'd love something like this in my car. Or like, I don't know, if White Link had existed, if the Fast Cats had existed in the 2000s for like the White Rider versions, then I feel like they would have had seats just like these. It's just so lovely. Lovely bulkhead, lovely round window here. Um, it's the crew only section, so I'll have to get away from there. Um, so you can, you can go outside onto the Sunday, but however, it's only in the rear. Uh, the front is completely sealed. Unless you go downstairs. Let me just show you what downstairs is like. So downstairs there are some middle seats over there. Uh, you also have a sort of fairly enclosed space here. Which is quite lovely. I like the 2x2 two two arrangement, you know me. I like my 2x2 two two base seats, absolutely unbeatable. We've also got these sort of fairly boring plastic ones here. Shouldn't like been there, you belong on a white rider. Um, this is a really quick service, honestly. It takes less than 10 minutes and you've got barely any time to get on one. So make sure you're on time. No, make sure you're early. Don't be on time, be early or you will miss out. Uh, thanks for joining this really short trip. Uh, have an absolutely merry, merry Christmas. Uh, ideally this goes up on Christmas Day or Boxing Day, so I hope you all have a terrific Christmas, I will certainly intend to, um, and have a happy new year.